Oh, this is going to be a bit of an interesting one, isn't it? <laughs> what am I letting myself into? Now, before I even wanted to do this list, I needed to complete Final Fantasy 16. I finally done it. So now I can rank every mainline Final Fantasy. Oh, I cannot wait to see this comment section. Now, first of all, these are my personal tastes. This is my list. So if it doesn't match yours, it's completely fine. What I want to know is what your list is going to look like. You know, put it down there. <laughs> so let's keep this nice and friendly. <laughs> I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> but anyway, with all this in mind, let's rank all the mainline Final Fantasies. Now, there is going to be two exceptions here because, unfortunately, I have not played Final Fantasy XIV, nor have I played... Final Fantasy 11. This is purely down to I don't really play MMO games. So, but from my understanding and from friends of the channel like Vito Gaming, it's highly ranked. It is beloved by the Final Fantasy community. So, let's <laughs> get cracking on with this one. Now, at the bottom of the list is Final Fantasy 2. Now, Final Fantasy 2 I played on the PSP, the PSP remaster of the original and um, it's a game <laughs> the, the problem with the Final Fantasy 2 is the keyboard mechanic I really just did not like that at all I found it very clunky the combat system it's a notorious combat system it just does not flow if you want to build up your character get ready to do some stupid grinding because you know, if you want to get your health up, well, you're going to have to attack your own characters or yourself to really get that up. <laughs> the other thing with this is, just the story just not did not grab me whatsoever. The, the thing is, with find the earlier Final Fantasies, they don't really have as much story as you would expect from a modern Final Fantasy. And this is down to the hardware limitations of that time. Now, this next pick's a bit going to get me a lot of heat. <laughs> But I really do not like this one, and it is Final Fantasy XII. Now, I have tried so many times to like Final Fantasy XII. I have got a version of it on the PlayStation 2. I did actually pick up the Zodiac Age to retry it with all the changes done to it to make it better, and I just could not get into it whatsoever. The cast of characters, Baltier as a character, he's brilliant, but the rest of them just... Oh, Van. Van is just an awful, awful protagonist in my eyes. Like, he's just... Oh, there's no words can comprehend how I'm disappointed by this game. Because it's so beloved by the Final Fantasy community. And I feel like, uh, kind of the black sheep not liking Final Fantasy XII, but it's just, when you've tried so many times to enjoy a game and its story and it just does not grab you whatsoever, I couldn't even tell you who the main bad guy was. I just, uh, everything just merged into one. <laughs> now next up is Final Fantasy V. Now I played the PS1 version of this on my PS Vita. Uh, again with this I did not like the story with it and you may know with me the job systems I really have a hard time playing games with a job system it just I feel that the grinding can be a bit too much because you're focusing on certain job skills and then once you've leveled them up you have to go back and do more those sort of things really really uh, I lose faith for it. <laughs> the next Final Fantasy is actually Final Fantasy 3. Now I played the remake version of this uh, with a 3D version on the PSP. Now the game itself looks really nice on this new 3D format. Now I've not played the pixel remaster version of it so I'm going purely by this remake version of it. So um hands up if that doesn't count <laughs> um, with this again it's a bare bones story but similar to what I mentioned earlier with the earlier Final Fantasies they are pretty bare bone in general and that was down to the limitations again similar to the likes of Final Fantasy 5 
The job system is a hard thing for me to grasp. Now there's only a few games, well likes of Bravely Default with that sort of job system that I really sort of gelled with and I know that the likes of Bravely Default was influenced by Final Fantasy 3 and Final Fantasy 5 but I just really didn't get on with this game. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> now for my next pick, it is actually the original Final Fantasy. Now I played the remastered version on PSP. Now if it weren't for the original Final Fantasy, well, we wouldn't have Final Fantasy in general and we wouldn't have this list, would we? <laughs> what I do appreciate with this game is this laid the groundwork for all Final Fantasy games and JRPGs in general. Now, this has ranked where it is because of the legacy of it. What I have played of it, the um, again, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, very high <laughs> encounter rates. Now, this sort of thing really, really takes you out of it, and especially with like the loading times with games and everything, you get out of a battle, you're straight back into it. Um, I do like the kind of story with this with the start where you take on chaos and eh, not chaos sorry garland <laughs> um i thought that was a nice little twist in the kind of time traveling aspect of that but again it's a very bare bones story um and again this is not down to you know the writing or anything this is just because of the age of the game and just how limitations were there okay so next up on this list is Final Fantasy 13. Now Final Fantasy 13 does have its flaws but it does have its positives as well. I am actually a fan of Lightning. I do think she's a great character. The story in general, this is another one where the story was a bit convoluted and you needed to know a lot of the lore. They built this whole lore around Final Fantasy 13. Also uh, it's a corridor simulator <laughs> but there was a decent enough story here and um, some of the characters as well do slightly drag it down the likes of hope oh, i don't like hope <laughs> but yeah final fantasy 13 was still i still had fun with this um i did actually prefer i did pick up final fantasy 12 and lightning returns and i actually preferred lightning returns out of all three of them. I really, really like that game compared to this. So there we go, Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> now next up after Final Fantasy XIII is Final Fantasy IV. Now I played the PSP remaster of Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy IV is a cracking game. This is where we start to see Final Fantasy stories really start to build up. Um, the likes of having Kane and Cecil, the whole changing from a dark knight to a paladin, um, going from the underground... Well, this is another thing which always surprised me when playing it for the first time was that there was three overworld maps. That was insanely cool. Um, one thing which does drag this down is the difficulty level and the spikes in difficulty can be something which completely throws you off. Um, also, Kane always uh, falling <laughs> victim to Golbez and his mind control. It's like, come on, man, get over it. <laughs> okay, so next up is... Now, this is going to be another controversial one for the positioning of this game. <laughs> but it is a Final Fantasy VI. Now, Final Fantasy VI is an absolute banger of a game. Now, I played this on the, PS, the PS1 version on the PSP and the PS Vita and it is a fantastic story. It was the pinnacle of the SNES games when it came to JRPGs. The cast of characters are fantastic, the story is fantastic and it has one of the most memorable JRPG villains in history and that is Kefka. Now why has it come in in this position and not higher on my list? Now, this is down to, I do not have the nostalgia factor for this game. Now, I feel that a lot of Final Fantasy liking for games is down to nostalgia as well, which you'll clearly see later on in the list. Um, 
but Final Fantasy VI for me, as great as it is, I didn't have that same sort of affinity with the game like others may have with it. It's a class game, utterly class game. But for me, it just doesn't rank that high. It's a really good game, but there's other Final Fantasies which stood out and had resonated with me more. Oh, I can't wait to see the comments about that. <laughs> now in full honesty, this one's going to get me a battering as well because it ranks higher than Final Fantasy VI. Out of 10, it's Final Fantasy 16. Now, I honestly thought when I was playing through this that this was going to rank a lot higher. Final Fantasy 16 is a fantastic game. The combat is brilliant and the story is really good, but there is a flaws in this game. The story gets pretty dark and I remember joking with someone saying that Final Fantasy 16 is the oh we're too late simulator because every sort of plot in this game whether it was side quests always ended up as you being too late to save the person or x y and z is deed because you didn't get there on time <laughs> which is like okay we get the point it's dark and dismal <laughs> But the characterization and this, the, the voice acting is brilliant. Ben Starr is an absolute star <laughs> in this game. Um, the combat, now I do like my action based combat systems. Um, with this, I did enjoy that as well, but it's not the best Final Fantasy I've ever played, which is a bit of a shame, but it's still really, really good. Now we are into the final five. Now this is where it's going to get very interesting because I know that one of my picks is going to really get me slaughtered on where, how high up it is. <laughs> but for my next pick, it is actually Final Fantasy X. Yep, Final Fantasy X is at number five. <laughs> now with Final Fantasy X, let me give you a bit of an understanding with this. When Final Fantasy X first came out, I just could, did not like it could not get into it. My little brain was like, uh, it doesn't have a world map. I don't like this. I want my world maps back. Because I was used to the likes of Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9. And uh, I just couldn't get into it. My little brain just would not cope with it. Now, years later, I got it on PS Vita. I wanted to retry it since the HD remaster came out. I kicked myself to do it and I loved the game. The characters in it are brilliant. The story is fantastic. But the reason it's ranked at number five was because it didn't grab me at first. A game, I'll, and it was a good thing I gave this game a second chance and it left a great impression with me. But because it didn't grab me at first, I can't rank it any higher than I have. Now, in at number four, <laughs> it's Final Fantasy XV. Now, the reason for this being as high as it was, when I finally got back into playing JRPGs, Final Fantasy XV was the latest game to be announced in the Final Fantasy series, and it was the first game that I got really hyped for when I got back into JRPGs in general. So I was really behind finding out the lore of this game, watching trailers, I watched all the animes, I was excited for the film that came out which went with it. I was fully invested in this world and these characters and I was not disappointed by this game. I fell in love with it. I absolutely love going back and visiting Final Fantasy XV. I've replayed it multiple times, I've watched King's Glaive multiple times as well. So with this, this ranks higher because of the emotional attachment I have with this game. It may not be the best game in general to a lot of Final Fantasy fans, but for me, this ranks really high as one of the best. Oh, I'm going to get slaughtered. <laughs> okay, now we are in our top three. This is where it's going to get very interesting because we have left Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX. So the next one's going to be quite important to figure out what the last two are going to be. And I can already tell you, friend of the channel Generation Pixel is going to be utterly raging at this video just now. <laughs> In at number three is Final Fantasy IX. Now I played this as you can see on the PlayStation 1. Final Fantasy 9 
is a fantastic JRPG and one of the greatest games ever really ever released <laughs> on the PlayStation 1. It really defined Hironobu Sakaguchi's vision for Final Fantasy before he left Squaresoft at the time. You got to play as four characters in your battles. Now this was new to me because at the time I had only played Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8. So having four characters in battle, that was awesome. It had really well defined graphics on the PlayStation 1 as well. The character models looked amazing. There was, speaking about the characters, the characters in this were fantastic as well. Like so Vivi, Queena, Steiner, etc. Now, if you want to know a bit more about my love of Final Fantasy IX, I have got a video on the channel called Remembering Final Fantasy IX. So I will put one of the little thingies in the corner and link it in the description down below. Now, in at number two, and getting everyone angry at the same time, <laughs> it's Final Fantasy VIII. Now, why does Final Fantasy VIII rank this high? Well, for me, it's nostalgia. I really, really love this game. I got this game after playing Final Fantasy VII so, so many times. And I got it for my birthday one year when I was a wee wee loon. The characters, I really loved Squall when I was growing up. Um, the rest of the party as well. The likes of having the military academies, going into space with Ragnarok. What, well, going to get, save Rio? See, I'm getting so excited I can't even speak properly. <laughs> Saving Renoa in space. Just everything about this game. And Laguna Lori. Laguna Lori is a fantastic side character in this, where you go into the past and play as him. There's so much mystery behind this. Now, when I got older as well, I started to become more appreciative of Final Fantasy VIII and its mechanics because the mechanics are not for everyone. It's, it's well known that it's not one of the most loved systems when it comes to Final Fantasy games. But for me, Final Fantasy VIII really ranks high and I really wish that this got the same love and affection that the other Final Fantasies get. And I'd love a remake of this in the same style as Final Fantasy VII Remake. Whether that happens or not, nah, I probably won't. <laughs> now, to nobody's surprise, and if you're a friend of the channel, you knew straight away when you clicked this video what number one was going to be. So let's keep it brief. Okay. <laughs> so there we have it. That is me ranking all the mainline Final Fantasies. What were your thoughts on this list? Be gentle, please. Let me know down below. And what would your actual list be? Again, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you like what you're hearing and seeing on the channel, please help me grow it by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you want to be kept up to date with everything Chicken Fillets, please hit that notification bell. This has been Chicken Fillets, and until next time, tatty bye. Oh, it's